So you're looking for a place in Charlotte where you can live, play, and work? Well, come check out the South End District with us here. In my opinion, what is the heart of Charlotte, North Carolina? I know everyone says that downtown is usually the heart of the cities. In my opinion, Charlotte's South End District takes that name. So we are standing outside of Atherton Mill. It is one of Charlotte's most iconic landmarks. Everyone knows where it's at and it is still kind of a staple of South End Charlotte. So before we get into what's here now and why people love it, let's talk about what it was and why it's even here to start with. So back in the 1800s, some old guy found gold. Yep, I don't know his name. You don't care about his name. The story is, is he found gold right actually outside of the Bank of America Stadium, which is not very far. So that building right there is actually the start of Uptown Charlotte. Those buildings right there are actually Uptown Charlotte. So you can see it's not very far away. It's only about three miles away. So uh, that started the economy here in South End Charlotte. So here came Atherton Mill. It was home to a bunch of factories. It was home to a handle and spoke factory, which the only thing I know use handles and spokes for are bicycles. And I can't imagine that that needed a full on factory, but I could be wrong. Um, it had a flower company in here. It had Charlotte Trouser Company in here. So it just had a ton of manufacturing industries in this building. It still looks the same today. It's still the original brick, a gorgeous in the heart of South End Charlotte. It just houses a few different retailers. So let's go take a look. So we're here inside Atherton Mill. One of my favorite stores is in here called Socially Bonded. Look, here we are, called Socially Bonded. They do the permanent jewelry. It's a really cool concept. I think you can't, there we go. It's a really cool concept. They do the permanent jewelry, but they've also collaborated um, as a space for female entrepreneurs to kind of sell a lot of their products. Um, they host some amazing events. So while we're here, we might as well pop in and see them, but let's show you the inside of Atherton Mill. It has all the original like old wooden tile brick here thing. So it's really cool. I'm excited to show you guys this place. Okay, so they're not in there right now, but you can kind of see their space. So here's, they do the permanent jewelry, and then you see all the different retailers and they kind of rotate those out. So it's really cool. You never know what they're gonna have. So that was inside of Atherton Mill. As you can see, it's always busy here. I mean, it's two o'clock midday on a Monday here and there's people walking. Um, I'm right outside of a restaurant so we could get a little bit more like quieter. There's the light rail. We'll touch base on that in a second. Again, another key component of South End Charlotte. Another reason why people love it here. So, okay, we talked about the history of Atherton Mill. We kind of walked through what it is. You've got some of Charlotte's favorite retailers. You've got Madewell Jeans. You have a lot of um, small locally owned boutiques. You've got companies such as Socially Bonded. You have some amazing restaurants here. This two-story one behind us is Trolley Barn. They are one of my favorite restaurants, there's always music and ha stuff happening over here in this particular area that we're in right here. So this, what I am standing on right now, yep, I'm in a park. Believe it or not, I am in a park. This is part of what's called the rail trail. So the rail trail is a three and a half mile long park. Believe it or not, I know, it's literally just a sidewalk, as you can see. It goes from South End all the way up to Uptown. As I said, only three and a half miles long. But what's really cool about the rail trail is they have a ton of different activities on it, just like you would a park. Like if you think of a park, you think of swings and benches and, you know, maybe festivals occasionally. Uh, it just started last week. So early in April, it'll go for about four months. They do front porch Sundays right here in this entire area where they'll have over 400 vendors. It is a huge thing here in Charlotte. People love it. You bring your dogs, you come, there's live music, you grab a drink, you grab some food. It's honestly just an incredible um, event to do. But anyways, getting back to the light rail, I will find some things to show you. I know they're like right here somewhere. Um, but the light rail is indeed a park. It has benches along the way. It has swings along the way. It has like teeter-totters along the way. Um, they light it up. There is light up South End. I forget what it's called. I'll have to do some research on it. But they just did it a couple months ago where they literally light up the, the light rail. And it's so cool. It also obviously is called the rail trail, um, taking you back to history again, connecting it um, because of the industry here and how much it was booming and bringing people in. 
it actually um, started the first, what is this called? Train stage. <laughs> the first railway here, guys. Um, so right here, this is our light rail. I just showed you kind of passing by. That will take you all the way to Uptown Charlotte, down um, just past South End. It'll go past Low so it's the lower South End. Um, there is talks of them expanding that and making it go a bit further, but that's where it goes for now. So it's really convenient because you can hop on and off of wherever you want. Um, I think it has like 15, 20 stops on it. So it really is convenient. Um, you can buy an annual pass, you can buy a day pass, you can buy a monthly pass, you name it. It's really convenient. It gets really busy for games and stuff. So it's really cool to have there. This whole area, all these glass buildings behind me, a year ago were not there. Like there was buildings there. Um, one of the glass buildings, kind of where the pillars <laughs> start right there. We'll take you down there, right? There we go. That's actually one of Charlotte's oldest breweries called Sycamore, that they were a original building over there. It was like one story. It sat on a good couple acres of land. Um, it kind of had that gritty feel to it, which is pretty cool. I loved it, but like everything changes good. So they actually recently just renovated the entire thing. So it's now this huge building. Um, so that is, with me saying all of that, I'm just saying that because Hello. it just kind of goes to show you that um, this whole area is constantly changing. I mean, again, two years ago, that was not here. So we're going to show you around South End a little bit more, show you a few more things, what it has to offer. I promise you this will become one of your favorite parts of town. I know that people say like uptown and we call our downtown uptown here. Charlotte does not have a downtown. We have an uptown. Um, and everyone says like the downtown is the heart of a, of a city. I have to disagree with that here in Charlotte. My husband and I have lived here for eight years and we, unless if we're going to a sporting event or the occasional uptown restaurant, we never find ourselves going uptown. We actually always come to down to South End. There is a ton of breweries, which we're gonna get to that in a minute. A ton of restaurants. It's super walkable. You've got the rail trail. Um, there's just so much more variety down here. So let's just show you around and then we'll get into it. So we are just literally after Tim Mills right there. We just crossed the street into a whole another side of South End. You've got some of local favorites here. We have Jenny's ice cream. Um, this has been here forever. It is a local favorite. They have probably some of the best ice cream in the world, but we're actually going to pop in here to my favorite coffee shop in the city, Vidi and Bo's. Not only do they have great coffee, but it goes towards a better cause. Um, they only hire, so the owners of it had a son that had Down syndrome and uh, obviously had a really hard time helping him find a job. So they have started Biddy and Bows. It's not a new company. It's a, a little bit older of a company, um, but it's newer to Charlotte. It's only been here for a couple of years and they're opening more and more around the area. I think the first one started in Charleston. So um, it's so fun. You get to go in here and you get to hang out with them. So we're going to go inside. We're going to grab a nice coffee and then we're going to continue on our, our explorations. Also, another reason why they're my favorite is because they literally will give you a handwritten note on your copy. So not only is, this a, is it a good cause, um, you know, as you can see, there's a ton of space and it'll work. It's quiet. There's also outdoor seating if you want it. Um, so overall, just a really good coffee shop. But anyway, so we've got this really cool part of South End here. Behind us, a puppy. That is one thing. Ugh. Uh, that's one really cool thing about Charlotte here. I mean, there's dogs everywhere. Ever, I'm looking. There's one peeking his head out there. There's one at the table over here. One walking there. If the weather's out, that is one thing about Charlotte is you can guarantee we are coming outside. We are in the south. We are not made for the cold. So you really can play, live, and work here. So let's talk about working here a little bit. So back in the early 2000s, the Great Recession hit Charlotte's financial industry pretty hard. Um, but 2012, it recovered pretty quick. At least the South End area did. Somebody started a co the first co-working space here in Charlotte, which is then called Lightbulb Co-working. And it started to attract different industries such as tech and engineering, the food industry, the arts industry. Everyone started fleeing here. So now we have tons of co-working spaces here in Charlotte. Tons and tons of different industries are here in Charlotte um, from large companies 
to we've got Lowe's head, tech headquarters is right on the corner to smaller local boutiques here in the area. I mean, everything is here. So if you really want to live, play and work, South End is the place to do it. It's a little windy out today. Should have wore, we should have wore a hair tie. Housing. Let's talk about what living in the South End actually looks like. Most of it is going to be rentals. Now I say that because South End does a really good job at attracting kind of your 20s and 30s, which is great. It keeps you young, keeps you vibrant. Um, that's not to say that you don't want to live here if you're older than that or even younger than that. That just tends to be the population that's here right now. So most of the places here are going to be rentals. However, if you go a little bit further south like towards the end of it or kind of a little bit further up, there are townhouses and condos available. You're not gonna find any single family homes here in South End. However, you go over a couple streets. So right back here, as you can see all the way down there, there's a street. If you cross over that street and go one more back, on the other side of that, there is a neighborhood with all single family homes. So with that being said, that neighborhood is called Wilmore. It's a different neighborhood. It's not technically called South End because South End is a district but you can really live here whether you rent or own. So that's a little bit about living here, working here. It really gives a bunch of different industries. Again, we've got this large building here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. The Lowe's uh, Tech Headquarters is here. That's a newer building. It's gorgeous. So let's just walk around. Let's enjoy our coffee and let's show you South End. Even if you don't want to live down in South End, maybe you don't want to be around that younger crowd. You like it a little bit quieter. South End is still a really cool place just to come and just walk. Again, if you just want to grab a cup of coffee and get outside and enjoy the sun, it's a really good place for that. Or if you do want a change of scenery for work, maybe you were from home and you're just tired of it, come down to South End, grab a cocktail, grab a coffee, whatever, whatever day you're having, come down and do it. I wanted to bring you down here because I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite things. So right across the way here, first of all, that water tower, pretty cool. Right next to the water tower, there's actually a cocktail lounge. It's awesome. Um, but it has like, oh God, oh, struggling out here. Anyhow, we've got two restaurants here. They are not local to Charlotte, um, but they are really good. So we've got Superica here, a Mexican restaurant. All right, next door, we got Barcelona. It's a wine and tapas bar. It is amazing, uh, really good for a night out. I know there are in other places like Atlanta um, and some larger cities. I think Raleigh has it, them as well, but they're good here in Charlotte as well. So coming up over here, we have a place called Salted Melon. Salted Melon is, it is local to Charlotte. So we have Reeves Fine Food. They are a market slash bar slash restaurant. They're a grab and go counter. They are over in South Park. They usually attend um, or attract the more mature, older crowd. But here, Salted Melon is owned by the same company, same concept, little snacks, grab and go. But they do have a restaurant in there that you can grab and go. Just totally different feel, same company, great food, great experience. So we've seen a few things. We uh, know the, what the locals like to do here. We love to eat and drink. And speaking of that, and what do people know South End for today? Well, of course, the breweries. Charlotte has a ton of breweries. We have over 50 breweries here. Some micro, some larger, some local, some not, you name it, they're all coming here. And South End is where most of them are. So uh, back in 1913, I believe, is when some of the industries fought to change some of the local rules here and got the some of the land changed from an industrial use to being able to use it for food and beverage. So. Uh, some of those include like Triple C, they're an older one in the area. OMB is one of the oldest beer, I think it is the oldest beer garden in Charlotte and I believe it is the largest beer garden over on this coast. That is a Charlotte favorite. You've got Yancey, you've got Monday Night, you've got High Wire. I mean, honestly, I couldn't list them all if I tried and I don't think you wanna watch that long of a video. So we now know it as a brewery hub, but there's so many cool things here. I mean, you've got Handle making, you've got tailored suits, you have amazing food. There's always live music happening out here. There's always people walking around. Um, you have murals of Charlotte here. We're about to cross one of the best ones in the city, which everyone takes a photo in front of. 